Welcome back guys to another video. So today let's introduce a brand new stock. No, it's not Etsy. It's not going to be Overstock or Amazon. It's going to be Farfetch. So if you guys don't know what this company is, it's pretty much an e-commerce business. They pretty much have an online store and they sell a lot of designer goods. And if you check out their overall site, you can kind of get it. It's pretty bougie. A lot of people seem to like it. I used to have the app on my phone until I realized I probably can't really afford the clothing that's listed on there. And so far, if you check out some of their clothes, I'm going to check out the men's items. A lot of them are luxury goods. A lot of them like Gucci, you know, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Burberry, which is my favorite and they got all sorts of different deals it's kind of like you know ralph lauren polo it's kind of like nordstrom except farfetch specializes in designer clothing expensive clothing expensive shirts it's pretty hype actually a lot of people are shopping at farfetch more than ever before i could clearly see what their attitude is they like to sell designer stuff if you guys don't have 500 bucks you guys probably shouldn't shop at farfetch the items here are astronomically insane i mean if you check out this shirt like this sweater right here it's like this orange sweater it looks like it's two dollars but they're selling this for 545 dollars i mean i get the appeal a lot of people seem to like it and so far i mean you do have this really crazy culture going on where designer items seem to be like this really crazy hype People are honestly buying designer clothing, shirts, watches, etc. And Farfetch stock recently has absolutely skyrocketed. Their IPO came out around 2018. That was around, you know, when e-commerce, it was getting really big, but no one really cared too much about it. People are still messing around with other companies out there. It did take a huge hit, and around late 2018, it did surge up along with all the other major e-commerce stores. So it was above its IPO price. It then took a huge dip to $8. It went up a little bit because obviously for some reason, a lot of stocks during this area started growing up and then bam the virus hit this stock was at an all-time low of seven bucks and right now ever since march it has been going up literally every single major e-commerce stock has been going up ever since march because people have started noticing that retail is not the future even with etsy you will be seeing a lot of mom and pop stores closing after this crazy pandemic a lot of those small stores where you sell like decor small pieces of furniture homemade goods a lot of them are listing their items on etsy and therefore this is why their overall stock is going up overstock same thing wayfair They've been absolutely going up. I mean, Overstock was at like two, three dollars, and now it's a hundred dollars. Absolutely crazy. Wayfair, same thing. It's been going up and up, and you can clearly see. I mean, you got like Fastly, Wayfair, all these different cloud internet stocks. They're going off the roof because people know retail is dying, commercial is dying, malls aren't opening up anymore. It's going to be online, and same thing with designer clothing. Generally speaking, when you think of designer clothing, you usually want to buy things in store. But since so many stores are closed, you know, the appeal of actually going to Fifth Avenue, New York City to get some really great items, I mean, it's not as appealing anymore. A lot of people rather go to, for example, Stadium Goods, you know, Nike.com or Farfetch.com to get their designer clothing. And keep in mind that this company, Farfetch, could actually be hitting all-time highs just like the rest of the companies out there. Keep in mind that $27 is exactly the same IPO price two years ago. So I wouldn't really say this is like overpriced. Market cap right now is only $9 billion, So it's honestly a super small company compared to the other guys out there. If you check out what's going on, Farfetch pretty much raised $250 million from Tencent and Dragoneer to support their growth. This is pretty big. And this is all the way back in January 2020. And that even with this news, the stock didn't really go up that much. But recently, since this pandemic hit and people start noticing the power of e-commerce and how e-commerce stocks were literally the ones that are pretty much like pandemic proof people went nuts over it and this deal is huge this is from tencent if you don't know what these guys are they're pretty much like this really big online company based in china they actually own PUBG. They have a lot of different games, they have e-commerce stores, they have like their own payment system, all that kind of stuff. They specialize in online world and online global technology. So investing this much money in designer clothing brand, you know, seller, Farfetch, it's insane. And the whole reason why is because Intencent is really big in China. They also own WeChat, which the majority of the Chinese love using WeChat. I have a few uh, Chinese friends they all use WeChat for some reason. They use that to talk. Here we use iMessage, Snapchat, Instagram. Over there, they mostly use WeChat. Right now, there is a huge study that Chinese shoppers are going to be making up pretty much half 
of the luxury good items in 2025. If you guys haven't been noticing, around college campuses, a lot of foreign international students from China, they do wear very expensive clothing. Designer clothing is one of the major things in China. It's like this culture thing, in my opinion. You clearly see there's huge obsessions with luxury goods. I mean, people love these designer clothing like Hermes. They love Burberry. They love Supreme, North Face, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to lie. A lot of international foreign students have the craziest wardrobes you can imagine. Like their outfit that they're going to school with probably is cost more than your car and so far if you check out farfetch you would clearly see they are making money lately you could clearly see they have been increasing revenues in pretty much 2018 it was 134 million dollars 2019 it was 255 million dollars for the same third quarter representing a growth of 89 percent and this quarter there hasn't even been any earnings yet but their earnings will come out august 13th it hasn't been announced yet but keep in mind, earnings can be extremely good. If you check out Etsy earnings right here, huge increases in the earnings. If you check out Overstock, same thing, huge amount of earnings. It absolutely destroyed it. It went all the way up. It killed earnings. It did amazing. People thought Overstock was going to lose money, but guess what? It was the best quarter they ever had. Etsy, same thing. People thought there's going to be all oh, maybe 39 cents a share, but no, it was double that absolutely crazy and farfetch is one of those stocks that are still really low key if you go to like major you know news outlets if you go on robin track a lot of retail traders a lot of major hedge funds aren't even thinking about farfetch i was doing some digging around and i finally found several people on reddit like different options forums different stock forums and a few people were talking about farfetch small trickles here and there i did some research and I started noticing that they actually are backed by tencent which owns wechat wechat has their own store and they could actually implement farfetch in wechat and then a lot of Chinese consumers can actually buy these luxury goods on a messenger app that they already use on a daily basis, which is WeChat. It's owned by Tencent, which just invested $250 million into Farfetch, which is pretty much specializing in designer items, which apparently the Chinese absolutely love, making up nearly 50% of the luxury goods market in 2025. Do you see this connection that's going on? This is going to be pretty big, especially how Farfetch is such a small company. Now, keep in mind that if I did not see this article about Tencent, you know, pretty much raising $250 million for Farfetch, I probably wouldn't care. Like, sure, the luxury market is going to be dominated by China, but if Tencent, which is a Chinese company that owns WeChat, isn't in with the deal, I probably wouldn't care too much about it. But because of this thing, because of Tencent investing millions of dollars in this designer online clothing brand company, it's going to become bigger and bigger and bigger. Because I, can you imagine everyone in China starts buying Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes on Farfetch? It's going to be really crazy. And since WeChat, everyone uses it once again in China, Tencent owns that. It's a no-brainer that Tencent is going to be combining the two companies together to increase sales dramatically. You can already see huge recoveries for this overall company. It went from $7 and now it's $27. I low key might actually buy some shares. If you check out the overall options, they're honestly not really that expensive. They're a little bit pricey here and there and they have monthly options. And honestly, if you buy guys buy like 100 shares, you could always you know sell cover calls and just make that nice consistent weekly money. But nevertheless, I actually may be going into Farfetch. It just seems way too interesting to pass up on this idea. And plus, it's only $27 a share, so definitely check it out. It could be the next big thing, especially how no one is really talking about it. If no one is talking about it and a lot of the good analytics add up really well, then this could be the next hot stock. That's about it. Thanks for watching.